arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which terms after the first is formed by adding a fixed number to the preceding term is called arithmetic sequence. The fixed number or constant is called the common difference denoted by D. Let's have example number one. Determine if the sequence is arithmetic or not. So let us consider negative 4, 3, 10, 17, and so on. Now, in order to determine the sequence in arithmetic sequence, there must be a common difference between any two consecutive terms in the sequence. So say for instance, I'll get the difference between 3 and negative 4. So I have 3 minus negative 4. So this is equal to 7. Similarly, if I have 10 minus 3, so this is equal to 7. Then, 17 minus 10 is equal to 7. Since, as you can see, there is a presence of common difference in the symbol of t is equal to 7. So therefore, we can say it is an arithmetic sequence. Let us consider problem number two. Find the next three terms of the sequence, negative 4, 3, 10, 17. Now, in order to solve this, we want to find out the common difference. Now, in order to get the common difference, we'll start with 3 minus negative 4. So, we have 7. Also, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. And 17 minus 10 is equal to 7. So there's a presence of common difference in the symbol of t is equal to 7. Now, we will find the next three terms in the sequence. So I'll start with 17. This time, I'll add the common difference of 7. So we have 24. Then after that, 24 plus 7 is equal to 31. Then we have 31 plus 7 is equal to 8. So therefore, the next three terms are 24, 31, and 38. Let us consider the third example. Write the first five terms of the arithmetic sequence with 5 as the first term and with a common difference of negative 2. Since the common difference is already given, so we will write symbol that D is equal to negative 2. Now, we will let A sub 1 is equal to our first term, while A sub 2 is equal to our second term, A sub 3 is our third term, A sub 4 is equal to our fourth term, and A sub 5 is equal to our fifth term. Now, since we know our first term is equal to 5, we will write here 5. Okay, next. Our a sub 2 is actually the first term in symbol a sub 1 plus our common difference. a sub 1 is equal to 5 plus our common difference is equal to negative 2. So we have 3. Next, a sub 3 is equal to a sub 2 plus our common difference, which is actually a sub 2 is 3 plus negative 2, so we have positive 1. a sub 4 is actually a sub 3 plus the common difference of negative 2, so we have 1 plus negative 2, so we have negative 1. Finally, a sub 5 is equal to a sub 4 plus the common difference. So we have negative 1 plus negative 2. So we have negative 3. So therefore, the first five terms are 5, 3, 1, negative 1, and negative 3. Let's have number 4. Find the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 3a minus 1, 3a, and 3a plus 1, and so on. Now, we must remember that the arithmetic sequence, the common difference d, is the term minus the preceding term. So, if we will illustrate that 3a minus 1 is actually, this is our a sub 1, while this 3a is our a sub 2, 
then we have 3a plus 1 is our a sub 3. So, remember that the common difference is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Or, we can say that the common difference is also a sub 3 minus a sub 2. Now, if we will substitute the value of a sub 2 and a sub 1 respectively, since here, our a sub 2 is equal to 3a minus our a sub 1 is equal to 3a minus 1. Solving for the common difference, we have 3a minus 3a plus 1. So we have, okay, d is equal to 1. If we will use a sub 3 minus a sub 2, okay, so we have d is equal to our a sub 3 is 3a plus 1 minus the quantity 3a. So, we have common difference is equal to 3a plus 1 minus 3a. Again, so the common difference is equal to 1. So, therefore, the common difference is equal to 1. So, let us consider fifth example. Find the value of a, make 3a plus 1. 4a and 6a plus 1, an arithmetic sequence. Now, so remember that we can rewrite 3a plus 1 as our a sub 1. So meaning to say this is our first term, 4a is our second term, and 6a is our third term. Okay, remember that the difference or the common difference is actually the difference of two successive terms. So I have D is equal to A sub 2 minus A sub 1. Also, D is the same as A sub 3 minus A sub 2. Okay. If we will substitute the value of A sub 2, which is actually 4A, minus the value of A is 3A plus 1. Simplifying it further, so I have 4 minus 3A. So, I have 4a minus 3a minus 1. So, this will give me a minus 1. So, this is the value of d. Also, a minus 3 or a sub 3 minus a sub 2 is the same as we have 6a plus 1 minus 4a. Simplifying it further, 6a minus 4a is 2a plus 1. Using the transitive property of equality, so I have a minus 1 is the same as 2a plus 1. So it means that a minus 1 is the same as 2a plus 1. Solving for the value of a, I have here, okay, 2a, move a to the other side of the equation. So using, okay, addition property of equality, so minus a. While I have negative 1, subtract both sides of the equation by negative 1. So I have negative 2 is the same as A. Or I can say that A is equal to negative 2. So therefore, we can say that the value of A is negative 2. Let's move on to the next problem. I was advised by my physician to walk each day in the morning as my daily exercise. On my first day, I walk 40 meters. On the second and third day, I walk 60 meters and 80 meters respectively and so on. So what is the distance I walk on the 10th day if I continue the pattern in my daily walk? So if we will analyze, okay, we can let our first term, a sub 1, is equal to 40. Next, our second term is equal to 60. Next, our third term is equal to 80. Notice that the difference between 40 and 60 is 20, as well as the difference between 60 and 80 is 20. If I will continue with this pattern, I can say that a sub 4 is equal to 100, while a sub 5 is equal to 120. Next, 
a sub 6 is equal to 140, then a sub 7 is equal to 160. By simply adding 20 from the previous term, a sub 8 is equal to 180. A sub 9 is equal to 200. And A sub 10 is equal to 220. Since I'm looking for the distance that I covered on the 10th day, therefore, the distance I traveled is 220 meters. So that ends our discussion for today. So don't forget to subscribe so that you will be notified about my new videos.